What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Realistic Gaming here, man. And we are back on Percy and the Beast Productions channel. And we're back to react to episodes four and five. As I said, we are going to be reacting to all his storyline, the story, the whole story. What? The whole story. Mother, Mother trucker, dude. That hurt like a butt cheek on a stick. Watch your profanity. Can't speak. The whole storyline of Soda Fallout, which he is making videos on. And he has, he does has a... Uh, Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do huh? you you want you you could do so you you bro what are you talking about man he does have his other sort of dark realm that's his own creation a part of sort of fallout so if you guys want me to check that out also let me know in the comments and big shout out to percy and the beast productions Thank you for the awesome content, man. And yeah, let's get it. And also, guys, quick shout out to Vanessa for the $10 thank you on my previous video. Huge yeah. shout out, major love. Thank you for the support, man. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And if you guys want to do the same thing, you can go up ahead and find it here on the heart that says thanks. So let's go ahead and begin with our first video, episode number four, which is the heart breaking news. Oh, let me just skip this little intro, you know. We see it every time. <laughs> I mean, it's cool, don't get me wrong. Whee! Grab some snacks, get back and relax. Alright, it's beginning shop. Where are you going, Edward? Oh, my boy Edward, bro. Oh, Wellsworth. Sydney and I July 5th, 1973. For something to you, but we didn't even want to take a step off Edward's footplate. Dude, when there's so shattered glass. You guys see the bodies in the back? We knew we had to investigate. We saw a few bodies too, but they were beyond recognition. Dude, they were torn apart. Like the limbs were out and everything. Oh my gosh. Who must it have been? Let me know who you guys think it is. After failing to find survivors at Wellsworth Station, I decided to go into the village and attempt to find any more scared souls who had survived this nightmare. Sydney, on the other hand, stayed with Edward and kept him company. Alright, so they're out there looking for more lonely survivors. Hopefully they find them. Maybe I they're gonna find them in two buildings thoroughly, but with no prevail before I decided to head back to Edward since it was getting dark. But as I was walking up to the old engine, my two way radio started to make static. Yo, what the heck? <laughs> the bodies are just there. That had to be the beast, right? Oliver, the beast. I don't know, man. I hear about cray cray, man. Oh my god. I'm gonna go bald. We got a call from Jem Cole on my two-way radio. He took shelter in a bunker underneath his house that he had built a few years ago. His wife and daughter were okay. Two poor travelers. Oh my gosh. In bed. Jem had his rifle on him and put the traction engine out of his misery. Edward broke down in tears when I told him the news. A tractor zombie? This is nuts, man. Oh, headshot. Good aim, bro. Remember, if there's zombies, you gotta aim for the head, guys. RIP right, to the wagon, though. I'm gonna call him wagon. To the tractor. Aw, is that them? Like, having memories? It is. Aw, this is so sad, bro. It seemed like they were good friends, him and Edward. <laughs> Where did I get this footage from? From like the actual cartoon? 
We talked about our adventures with Trevor until we felt drowsy, and we've decided to sleep inside Edward's cab tonight. It might be risky, but it's less hazardous than sleeping in a building with tons of shattered glass inside it. Luckily, we still had <laughs> a spare like a fire fun blanket in the cab, so we used that. I hope this nightmare ends soon. Dude, poor Edward is going through it right now, my boy. You're strong, Edward. Oh, all right, that is the end of episode number four. Dude, that was epic. I really like that episode. Might be one of my favorite ones because of all the bloody stuff in the background and all that stuff going on. All right, so now we're moving on to episode five, um, which is... The 1411 Experiment. Okay, let me fast forward. Okay, there you go. There you go, there you go, there you go. Footage owned by our soldier railways not to be released to the public. I think I might have actually seen this one, guys, but we gotta rewatch it just to keep in order, you know? So I won't skip any episodes. So it could all make sense. Make it make sense, my boy! Hey, what's up, my boy? Wait, this is, um... This is, uh... This is Percy, right? Are you Percy? <laughs> I like when they phrase those that. <laughs> oh! Just crashed right into it. Oh my god. Do you not know how your brakes work? One day before the Brandon Bay Blast? 1411 1. Engine known as Oliver has been acquired. Beaten up a bit after being derailed by Harold and Herbert. Arian Burt to the locals. Oh, I remember these the dudes. Left on side and Harbor. outside the main building. Experiment 1411-2. Engine has been injected with a dose of... <laughs> engine has complained about nausea and a pain in... Alright, I got it wrong. That's Oliver. My bad, guys. Sleep and we'll be Don't doing get triggered, some further please. 1411-3. Researchers have tasked Harold and Herbert to block engines from entering... Engine has started to show signs of awakening. Test on nearby flat car proved successful after knocking it on its side and about Be your one own, swift man. Oh, that looks creepy. Engine what the heck? Given anesthetics after terminating and we haven't the seen this before. 1411-4. Circulation in the face has ceased. Engine's last face is a concerned expression. New host seems to have taken over. And like he's and mutating slowly but surely. Yep, that's definitely all, uh, really making all over the beast. Progress now. 1411-5. Face is now removable. Exposing oh the mouth my, and teeth. Oliver. Tendrils can come out of the mouth now. Oh, it's getting hungry. I want to pet Oliver, Shapen's dude. Gone missing. So if you mess with me, I'm feeding you to him. dripping from his mouth pretty much answered our question. We lured the ironworks engines in and got them ready for the test. They were horrified. <laughs> One of them tried running into it and the other reversed. One trying to escape derailed and was torn in half. The oil was dripping oh, everywhere. No. And there was a fire. The engine went after the second one and compressed the front half, killing it instantly. Feel like the beast is unstoppable, man. Test was successful. Scrap will be sold later. 1411-7. Diesel 10 was prepped for combat test. Oh, Diesel this will 10? Be our final combat test before mission is operational. Oh. Diesel was brought in and combat commenced. D10 held a decent fight, calling it multiple names. 
creature, beast, monster. Ain't no way he's gonna stand a chance against the, the beast though. Hand. Engine ripped off the hydraulic claw on the roof and tore off a buffer. That's gotta be painful, bro. Was powerless and begged for mercy, apologizing to steam engines in general. Engine took the thin end of the claw and jammed it into the middle of D10's face. We have decided to call it the beast. Right. Oh, he sticked his claw right through 14, it. 1411 8. Toad brake van, the monitor of the. Uh, this will help us be able to figure out. All right, well, it seems like they created a beast that they can no longer tame. The beast is out of the cage, and he beasting out there, man. He is not messing around. All right, you guys, well, that was some sort of fallout. If you guys want me to cut uh, to continue on the episode, you guys know what to do, man. Let's try to get this video to a 1,000 likes. If we do, that would be awesome, man. I would literally go bald. I'll shave my head off. <laughs> Probably won't, but that would be awesome. All right, you guys. Well, thank you guys for watching. Thank you all for the amazing support. As always, I truly appreciate it. And I will see you guys on tomorrow's live stream at 1 p.m. I'm going to be reacting to live. I'm going to be reacting to a... We're going to... Me and Mike are going to be doing a, a live stream, uh, Scary TikToks part number nine. But it's going to be a little different since it will be on the live stream. I, it should be fun because we're going to be watching TikToks with you guys there and interact with you guys. That should be a fun time. So make sure to tune in tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific time. See you there. Or be square, man.